This is big. And small travel. We are in? Belgrade. In Serbia. Belgrade, Serbia. A city full of many surprises. We think it's one of the hippest cities in Europe. is actually not in the EU. So. Independent European country. So that means a lot of different things. So if you have a SIM card from Europe, you can't use it here. Oh no! When you're crossing the border from Bulgaria, hardly any sort of wait time. Because not being an EU country, things are a little easier. <laughs> you really see the console out there. Belgrade, Serbia, it's a place that has quite a reputation. It is a place that we've enjoyed immensely in our short time here. So here are a few of our favorite things that we did and saw in Belgrade. Let us know what you think. Enjoy it. We've arrived at the Belgrade Fortress here in Belgrade. They say it symbolizes the city of Belgrade, also the frontier of East meets West. So mine is pretty similar. I got the cabbage as well and chicken strips with the ajmak. I'm just totally saying that wrong. It's a little ball of, she described it as basically cream cheese, so it's just a dairy product. And onions, pretty simple. Chivapi is a famous sausage from the Balkans. If you're so inclined, you can eat healthy as well. Walk around town. There are many great food options. The waterfront area is lined with many great restaurants, featuring many different types of cuisines, including Middle Eastern. This is the Central Market in Belgrade, and as you can see, 
It looks like there's a lot of great stalls with fresh produce. There's also some food stands here. There's a butcher right to my right. Uh, cheese over there. I got a donut. Certain places we go, we can't get a lot of bad American food, and donuts are definitely really delicious bad American food. I got a donut with Nutella inside. Uh, so Belgrade is, it's a big city, but it's also very walkable and all of the things you want to see here if you have just two or three days is pretty easy to get to just by walking. Walking around one of the many pedestrianized streets here. Pretty cool. Follow us as we explore more of Belgrade. down a pretty hip street, lots of new restaurants, cafes. We will put the name of it down on the bottom here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Uh, but the cool thing is at the very end you get to the Bohemian Street, uh, which you'll see more of right now. Yeah, it's a pure alcohol made of fruits, desolated fruits. I, I feel, I feel. You'll feel, you'll feel like, like I do. I the most traditional one in Serbia. Uh, Slivovica, wines and uh, grapes are the most common. Uh, my favorites are juniper, made with juniper berries and, uh, and plum, and uh, apricots because it's very well balanced, it's not so strong and it's very fruity. Okay, okay. Cheers. 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 Yeah? I think okay, so. Now. <laughs> this is, what is this called again? Yeah. Slivovica. Uh, plum. Ciao, ciao. Plum flavored. Plum flavored. Or in Italian, prugna. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Orthodox Church. This is the largest Serbian Orthodox Church in the world, in Belgrade. This church is technically by volume the largest Eastern Orthodox Church in the world and it holds 10,000 people. Let's go inside. Belgrade is known for a lot of nightlife, but it's not exactly our thing. We still walked around though.
see some of the groundbreaking inventions and even the ashes of famous Serbian inventor Nikola Tesla. Even more, but only if you solve a problem. And the problem was very unusual. The problem was how to make an egg stand on its teeth like this on her desk. So not to just pay attention on the egg, of course. This is the site of where uh, NATO bombed Belgrade, Serbia in 1999. War tourism is um, not something we'd ever talk about, but a reminder. Belgrade. It's called Aviator. Very cool spot. We love the outdoor area and great, great coffee here. So this has been our, our spot every morning. So when you're in Belgrade or anywhere in the Balkans in Eastern Europe, lots of smoking everywhere is a norm in many parts of Eastern Europe. We've seen much more smoking in places like Zagreb and Croatia, as well as Sofia in Bulgaria. Anyway, be careful if you don't like smoke. <laughs> 